Hello there, everyone, and welcome back to the United UMC mod for Hearts of Iron 4. I'm your host, Mr. Uh, Empire of Japan Lover, but we got to talk about the Trotman mediation, which I never knew about, actually, which is very cool that the mod has brought it up. Since the 1920s, the Deutsches Reich has had a close relationship with the government of the Republic of China, led by the Kuomintang, and still maintaining it to this day. They thought, thought that we, together with the Chinese, will form an eastern counterweight against the Soviet Union. Therefore, any armed conflict between us and China is very unwelcomed. <coughs> Uh, behind these reasons, we were approached by the German ambassador, Oskar Trotman, in offering mediation between our Prime Minister Fumi Maro Kano and Chiang Kai-shek in order to start the peace negotiations. Shortly after the seven terms of peace were suggested, securing autonomy for Inner Mongolia, making a buffer zone between Manchukuo and China under the non-King government administration, and providing lower tariffs for Japanese goods. As endless war is definitely not our primary goal, and want to focus the resources elsewhere soon, we should at least consider this offer. After all, we are all Asians, and the Soviet bears waiting. No need for prolonged war, which is actually really cool. <coughs> Excuse me, and reorganized government of China becomes Imperial Associate of Japan, which we don't have, of course. Um, but diplomacy is just a waste of time, which is a historical route. But it's actually very cool to see this. Non aggression effect with China. So, actually, if we were to do this, the reorganized government of China get Beijing, Qingdao, Weihai, and Shanghai. We don't even have them invaded, but you know what? Diplomacy is just a waste of time. The United States demand an compensation and maybe an apology. In response to our sinking of the USS Penea earlier this week, <clears throat> The U.S. has demanded an apology, punishment of the officers involved, and compensation. While the attack was not ordered by our government, it's not clearly, entirely clear whether it was a mistake by over-enthusiastic pilots or an attempt by military hardliners to encourage the United States and the United Kingdom to pull the forces out of the Republic of China. Some in the government will not like us agreeing to American terms, but a refusal could mean war. Agreeing to American terms. Never back, bow down to decadent Westerners. Uh, show of strength domestically, increasing support for our government. Is it worth the risk of war with the United States? Well... It's all right. Um, as you can tell, we're doing actually quite well here in China. Here are the casualties. Like, we lost only 35,000. 46,000 in total. We've gotten rid of a lot of enemy divisions. I mean, look at that. 81 max. I mean, we're doing very, very well right now. As we're, I'm slowly, meticulously going through. I, I, I wish I was doing this uh, a time lapse, but I don't have time for that right now. Um, showing you uh, just how meticulous I'm being. Like, I'm using basically this army group here. To surround and just literally destroy all enemy divisions. Actually, railroads right here, supply point right there. So like this. Um, in all honesty, do, do, do. so like this instead. We'll go from here to here. Two, three. I'll go like that. Capture that and destroy those divisions. And I'm also using these nine divisions over here. He's now a cavalry expert and a cavalry leader, which is a giant mess right here. Which is actually okay with us as we're trying to slowly get up to where the Marines are at. Ooh, they were actually defeated earlier. Ooh, that's not good. Can you actually do anything there, maybe? But we're also doing a Tension Shudan Special Forces Group. Uh, we're going to need a couple more of these as well. South Manchuria Railway Company. Unlock Manchurian Industrial Development Capacity Company Focus Branch. Yeah, let's get it done. The South Manchuria Railway, the Mantetsu, was established in 1906 to operate the railways taken over from the Russians. Subsequently, Mantetsu expanded by building new lines for itself and for Chinese owned undertakings. And after the establishment of the state of Manchukuo was established in 1932, it was also entrusted with the management of the Manchukuo Ra National Railway. Very cool. Also, right now, what do we have? We're balanced, so it's not too bad. Uh, reinforced Manchu Soviet border. Our Manchurian puppet state shares a long border uh, with the Soviet Union, a nation not exactly so friendly to ours. We'll fortify its borders among Amur River to be prepared for any possible any possible Soviet invasion. Carrier warfare, obviously, you probably want to go with that one. Um, so we're see the battle fleet. I love this one, but we'll probably have to go with this one. Battleships are the relics of the bygone age. We must look to the future, and the future is aviation. Maybe aircraft carriers will also project uh, that air power across the Pacific. Small arms modernizations. Our military forces require modernized weaponry to be able to compete with those of our potential out. Enemies, not allies, but enemies. Uh, reinforce the sun on the Japanese border, I guess. We don't, don't really need that, though. And then, Maruzen oil refineries in Minoshima. Maruzen oil fields in Minoshima are some of the rare places on the home islands which possesses the oil deposits. Must exploit and put in use. Therefore, we'll build a modern refinery at that place, capable of utilizing local deposits, supplying the home island with fuel. We'll do all that stuff. Dominate the Philippines. Ooh. Ooh. Reactive focus. P secure proper air coverage. It's not a bad idea. Ichigo Song, we'll do that one later. Master of the Pacific. Um, not bad. What is this? Ohanja Chandra Bos. Interesting. Deal with the PDRI. Interesting. Strike Southern Resource Area, probably do that one. Siamese Economic Integration, yes. And the level of industrial situation will be, of course, improved. And Agile Designs. Ooh, Mitsubishi. Ooh, this one's good too. Cast Range, oh my goodness. 
The distance involved in warfare from the Northern or Pacific Theater are vast, and so we need models capable of bridging these gaps, or these distances. Range alone will do, us, do us no good. <clears throat> And for models cannot compete with the enemy when they revive. We must produce craft with superior agility, and so they, they may never be out maneuvered. Alright everyone, so now, as you can see, we're pretty deep into China. Um, we've lost about 134,000-ish versus over a million. They're at 100% capitulation, so we're pretty much good to go in order to capitulate them. But some comments before we get there. So we're doing Aichi's range focus designs, very cool. Uh, one of the comments from yesterday says, The left path here, where we're built upon the Tangku Trus, it's like prepare for war path where you can prepare and consolidate your position with the downside that China is also improving as well. Um, in which they might be able to do this in a multiplayer game and China would have more time to like take out a warlord. And then of course the right side just like, just go crazy. So, oh look at this. Huh, it's at war. Oh, we won't be able to do this at all. Uh, the regime under Wang Jingwei will start a civil war in the Republic of China with Nanjing as its capital. Take administration of Northeast China. Oh, equip change of race. Take drink and control. Oh. Huh. Of course, we didn't even do this one either. We didn't really need this either, so we're gonna do that. Let's go right ahead. Huh. Way more attrition. Weekly war sport goes up. Can't do this one either, and there's nothing here as well. Exploit Chinese wealth. Um. Well, find a common way out. Obviously, we won't need that one, so. Uh, another comment was I really like playing Japan in multiplayer, especially Kazurak, because of the absolute power Japan has to be able to screw over literally everybody. Someone says. Uh, the mod looks really interesting. Looking forward to the series. Another person commented saying, Ooh, there goes China. Goodbye, China. Oh, man. Can you do the Kodoha path sometime? That seems fascinating. Yeah, the, the other path. The more radical path for Japan, of course. And sometime, yes, we will. Um, someone else says, If you wanted to play historically, you got to lose the World War. And at this point, I think it was the 1939 already. Um, we've already won, so yeah. <clears throat> so it says, I should puppet China. Um... As it was a goal of the Empire of Japan, I guess originally what they wanted it to do. Let's put them. I think for now, since we have so much manpower, I want to keep it just annex them all. When we do this again someday, I will actually do the Marco, uh, Marco Polo Bridge incident and then actually puppet these guys under one big old China. So I think for now, I'm going to play very unhistorically and just take everything. I like taking everything. I'm a big eater. In real life and in game. So, um, yeah. Shang-Chi. And there's Shang-Chi sometimes too. So I'm just going to take everything. All that non-core man parts would be very nice. It's going to be a lot of resistance here, which is going to suck. But, uh, yeah. Someone says, uh, after the capitulation of the Chinese, invade the Soviet Union with Germany. Wow, look, look at that. <laughs> a core population of 69 million. Nice. And a uh, non-core population of 100, almost 30 million. Cool. Uh, someone, else, someone says, when are we going to continue the Old World Blues Arizona Reborn submod? That's a good question. I'm not entirely sure at the time of this recording, just because there's a lot of... There's so much stuff going on, I don't know. We'll see. Uh, by this point, we have a couple options. We can go to war with the common term and get ready to help out the Axis. We can go to war with the Axis. Or the Allies, not the Axis. Well, I guess we could go to war with the Axis if we really wanted to. Probably not. Or we could try to invade America. I'm thinking what we should do... We're going to take out all the Allies. We're going to go all the way to... We're going to go through Iran to Turkey. Take out as much of Asia as possible. And then once America does, does join the war, we'll have a good old time with them too. Um, so, in the meantime, we've got a lot of people to take out, don't we? Um, uh, oh, actually, to bet. 105 days, good god. That is so long. Marines, no, I'm not going to send you guys. I'll send you probably over here. How many divisions do they have? So, I have a lot of manpower. Two to six, not bad. Cavalry, they are only 12 combat width. Land doctrine, is it land? Air doctrine, okay, that's right. Uh, these guys are only 12 combat width. Make them 18, because we'll still use them for a while. Um, so there you go. Because we still have cop garrisons here too, so. Not super worried about that. You guys come over here, do that. That'd be fine. We'll go to war with these guys. See what we can do about them. And let's keep going on. Down at the Philippines. As much as I want to do this one. New order. Oh, technically strike in the southern resource area. Oh, I, I do like the Carolina Islands to get some stuff here. And cost reduction for a lot of stuff here. Dutch East Indies, British Malaya... Well, I guess it's no longer historical, and we'll probably try to go historical next time we do this too. So it's economic integration. That we're gonna do as well. There's this one we're trying to do. Except this guy. <coughs> so we can even do this even if we don't do it, so <sighs> reactive focus. If they is not a puppet. Um PDRI activities. Weekly stability goes down. 
I might just go with this one. Struggle in the southern resource area. I might just do that one anyways, because we can. Uh, we to angered by Tibet Bostrian, yes. You bet we are angered by them. Over your planes. Ooh, do we need more guns? No, we got plenty of guns. We need planes, casts. Um, where are we for Cass? And lots of naval bombers. Good god, we're gonna need so many naval bombers, it's not even funny. Carrier fires will go up to two. Carrier naval bombers will go up to two. Carrier cast will go up to two. Tactical bombers are not gonna be bad either to grab. Um, still building a lot of this stuff here, but supply and stuff like that, not as important, especially if we want to integrate things eventually as well for the army situation. Oh! I think the worst part will go up. Army situation, you mean like this? Good MS? Great MS. Military situation, yeah. Mobilization speed manufacturing. Better consumer good, better attack. Oh, that's worth doing, yeah. Um, so yeah, that's not bad actually. Yeah, since we have these guys here anyways right now, it is only December 1939, of course, so we have a little bit of time. We will go to war with the Allies though, because while with the Greater East Age Co-Prosperity Sphere, yeah, we gotta get ready for the Allies. So, you yeah, guys just stay right there. Actually, you know what, in, in any case, I mean, since we're gonna attack them anyways, uh, we don't need that either. We're really gonna need to use these Marines and abuse these Marines, because Marines like to take a lot of abuse. And I'm kind of joking, but I'm not actually really joking about that. So, we can use a few more Marine Divisions. Maybe two more. And we'll pop you right there. And we really want to focus on Navy too. Uh, Marines. 24 Combat with is not bad. Oh, I also did go with uh, this one. Tip of the Spear. I almost never do this one, but I figured, you know what, since we're here, we might as well do it. So, is that good? Eh. Make me thicker. Yeah, we can't do that one. That's fine. 30 Combat with. Not super optimal, but whatever. In the meantime, uh, we'll need some guys around here, which is fine. Uh, we'll take Hong Kong first, and then we'll slowly just blip through all these guys. Um, for us, the Philippines, they are a puppet of America, which I don't want to upset f too much first. So which means we're going to go through this area. Half of you guys are going to go through here, because we will take Singapore. My god, Singapore is going to be so rich with rubber. Oh, good god. Oh, I love it. You guys go and train. You four will begin plotting a naval... Actually, you know what? Maybe not. You guys just go there, too. That'd be fine, too. And then you guys do that. And then you guys do that. Cool. Let them go on. In the meantime, we're going to start building up an even bigger navy. It's only one right now, but we'll get there. Uh, let cruiser holes. Do we have anything else to add on right now? No. That sucks. And here? No. My goodness. Yeah, at this point, we're going to have to make sure we keep at least one thing on naval research at all times. Because a lot of this is just not super bueno. Carriers, carriers. Some heavy ships would be nice as well. So. Um, PDRI. As much as I want to do that one. Uh, I mean, we'll do one to be a, kind of a, a historical. I don't know which one. Dominate the Philippines. Get a war goal against them. I don't want to fight them yet. Secure proper air coverage. Be modernization. Ooh, that'd be, that wouldn't be bad either. Air, first air fleet. Uh, where are we are? Are we strengthening? Who are we balanced? Oh, we're actually balanced right now. That's not bad. You multi class battleship. Ooh. Oh, that's all we're doing. 25 days. Two Yamato heavy battleships into production. You know, fire construction plants are some time to be able to gather some bonuses. Yes, please. Since we're here, anyways. And you just made what? Come on. Train, 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 the love of God. Train harder. Press censorship. Kind of the negative effects of war economy. We're still in war economy, by the way, so that doesn't hurt us too badly. It's like 1.39 every single day. Claim total victory in Nanjing Run. Oh, so we need Malaya, Indonesia, and Indochina. And we'll get a lot of stuff and way better compliance and resistance. And Nanjing Run, Saiko Ashita. Oh. Interesting. Maintain inter service neutrality. So we can't balance forever between our two armed branches. We must get to know that we do not favor one or another, and that prosperity of the Empire of Japan is gained through its army and navy alike. Yeah, these two, not interested. Bureau Conference, we're just going to maintain inter-service neutrality. Just keep it neutral. And foreign influence, we're fine with that for now. I might actually try to annex everybody. Like, seriously. Oh, with so much manpower now, and we're only on what? Huh, <laughs> limited conscription? We might go to, honestly, I might go to volunteer only. Because this we lose political power here, and we get more attack this way. 3% more attack and defense, get more stability. Uh, you lose 1% more recruitable population factor. You get 6% more organization. Why wouldn't we want to do that, right? Uh, but now, like I said, let's keep one on the Navy at all times. It's almost 1939. Actually, you know what? I, I lied. Actually, I did not lie. We're going to get cast anyways. Cruiser holes. Uh, I'll get that one first. That's fine. 
I'd love to do all this stuff. Oh god, we need that. Neutrality though, please. Please. Anything here. Also, there is some glitches in this game. I think it's this guy. I think it's this guy. If I clicked on... Was it... No, not, even it wasn't this guy. Was it you? Whoever... Yeah, it might have been this Prince. Nashimoto Morismasa. When I clicked on Logistics Wizard, he would, it would glitch the game and crash it. So, that's going to be where... The United UMC mod is not perfect. And not, no, mod is. But, like, it, there's still glitches, and it literally just crashed my game. So, if you're playing the mod yourself, I want you to know that it can't happen. So, exploit Chinese wealth. Ooh. Oh, goodness. A lot of steel and two civvies. Do we need that? Eh, we need aluminum more than anything else. What do we want to do here? Retool Chinese industry. Remove a civvy. Oh. Yeah. Declare war on the USA. Print a strike on fleet in Pearl Harbor. Operation AI. Three attacks. <clears throat> Destroy up to four battleships. Damage their infrastructure and naval bases. Gain 12 experienced divisions in Hawaii. Oh. Hinder American naval capabilities in the Pacific. Declare war in the U.S. Significant bonuses. Use the last reserves. Force them, force them to surrender. Estimate naval ratio. Oh, that's kind of cool. Peace with the U.S. Oh, that'd be really cool. Do we get San Francisco and L.A. like in TNO? <laughs> Japanese Pacific states. Oh! Oh, that's actually really cool. Happy 1940, everybody. Uh, accept these guys. We probably want to maybe start doing that and then maybe economic integration. For the quantum leadership. Yeah, accept these guys. Accept this guy. Yeah. Yamato Gata Senkan. Preliminary studies for a new class of battleships began after Japan's departure from the League of Nations and its renunciation of the Washington and London Naval Treaties. From 1934 to 1936, uh, 24 initial designs were put forth. These early plans varied greatly in armament, propulsion, endurance, and armor. Main batteries fluctuated between 460 mm and 406 mm in guns, while the secondary armaments were composed of differing numbers of 155 mm, 127 mm, and 25 mm guns. Propulsion in most of these designs was a hybrid diesel turbine combination, though one relied solely on diesel and other than other, planned for only turbines. Endurance in de designs had 18 knots, a low of 16,000 nautical miles, and design a 140J2 uh, to a high of 9,200 uh, uh, nautical miles. In designs a 140A and 140B2. Armor varied between providing protection from the fire of 406mm guns to enough protection against 460mm guns. Yamato seen as the epitome of Imperial Japanese naval engineering. In addition, Yamato, together with Musashi, due to the great size, speed, and power, and visibly embody Japan's determination and readiness to defend its interests against Western powers, especially the United States. Tendo Haika Banzai. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. The bigger, the better. Not always, but sometimes. Okay, so there's a lot of puppet divisions, and I don't want to use puppet divisions, I'll be honest. As much as I love using, like, not our own manpower, I don't want to increase their, uh, dependence. Or independence. Some good factories would be nice. It is, of course, 1940. And then we can grab some of this stuff, which would be nice as well. But there's a lot to get done here. Uh, there's a lot that needs to get done here. Holy crap. Reinforcement formation. Get rid of various fighters. Get some fighters. Oh, here we go. What are we looking for? Yeah. There you go. Possibility for better German-Japanese uh, relations. Our relations with the Deutsche Reich uh, have never been amicable <coughs> since the end of the Great War, where we established control over German colonies in Asia. The sun of Germany, German relations have soared, and German-Japanese relations have been dead in the water. Even after the NSDAP took power, there hasn't been much effort from either our nations to move towards a friendly alliance with each other. However, the situation was drastically changed yesterday when diplomats from the Deutsche Reich approached our government in Tokyo with an offer of friendly relations, arguing that our nations share many common interests, and together we can achieve much more. They forwarded a statement from the German government, which asserted that if we agreed to it, they uh, we will, they will do their best to mend the broken bridges between our nations and pave the way for a friendship which will stand the test of time. While the Germans are powerful friends to have, we must be very wary of their interests. They still may be bitter over the loss of colonies and would not give up their relations with the Chinese so easily, which has spent years building up. The decision, however, remains to be made. They will make a valuable ally. Aren't they in touch with Chiang Kai-shek? No, they're not. Yep, yeah, 50 more political power, more war sport. Beautiful. Fuel and rubber. Ah, oh, the Navy's been strengthened just a little bit, not very much. Um, nice. I cheese. 25% more range for close air support. It's going to be so nice. Naval bomber range. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Refitting cost. Ooh, that's not bad, too. Uh, let's get some rubber here, too. Be very good. 
And since we're here, we're gonna need more normal planes, naval bombers, cast. No, oh, you come up here too. Kind of laggy. You're gonna help train a lot of stuff here. Um, so that that with that in mind, we're gonna keep doing this. One, two, three, and then keep getting some more rubber. Because my God, we got a lot of things to build. I'm gonna turn China into a manufacturing base of just nothing but goodness, and help lower our public autonomy as well. That's pretty nice. While we got the lag. We good enough for now. Anything else here? Ooh, oh yes, please. Very battleships. Um, yeah, I'd like that, but we don't have enough things to really say I want that. Don't get me wrong, super heavies are really nice, but we don't have enough things here for me to say yes. Super heavy. Eh, I guess super heavies are not bad to make. Um, heavy batteries, anti-air cannons, secondaries, go with more secondaries, anti-air. Um, go with a lot of secondaries. Fine, we'll make that. Screw it. Toad anti-air, I guess if we want to make those, that's fine too. Okay, so one more. We'll go here too. Um, keep making some saves. We can still trade them away though. Or whatever we might need, like rubber. Get us one more aluminum. Get at least one more from Deutsches Reich. And eh, go two more. Why not? We're friendly for now. Go as much as you can. That'd be good. Yeah, not bad. Except this guy. So I'm his economic integration. Um, torpedo class. Torpedo cruisers. Support companies. Strength in the army. Small arms. I did heard this one last time. Our military forces require modern weapons to be able to compete with those of our potential enemies. Oh, Kanto Gun protects Manchuria. 12 experience Quantum Divisions Manchuria. Kanto would be better if we have anti-tank artillery technology research. Path to Nishi... Nishi Nihon. Gain core of Manchurian territories. Fully annex. Ooh. Improve the Manchurian military. Or army. I like this one. Because you get to go down here. Very nice. Carrier cast. I don't want to do that. I don't want to spend too much on there yet. Because I wanted to just upgrade these guys all the way. It's fine for now. You're done. You're right there. We're going to continue upgrading them too. So. <clears throat> Over here. Fleet retreat speed. Yeah. Hit chance speed. Sp bombing. As much as I like this one. Osami Nagano. It's only 1940. Which is right, is looking... Oh, they took out Lithuania. Oh, I forgot Lithuania did go to war. Why is it so high? Oh, good God. What are you doing, Germany? You're putting in manpower. Are you at war with them? You are at war with them. Ubiquitous propaganda, eh? Weekly change is by plus 0.2. Weekly war sport goes up by 0.1. Not bad. Not great, but not bad. I'm gonna head on over there. Uh, Mountaineers are not bad. These tanks could be better. Yeah, we'll focus on better tanks later. More naval doctrine stuff, that's fine for now, yeah. It is quite laggy, though. Siamese economic integration should be very good. Then we've been forced to quantum leadership. We have no interest in supporting the Manchurian dream of independence. Therefore, the time came for Emperor Puyi to serve only as a blank symbol for personal use. The Quantum Army with Yueda in its head will lead the Manchukuo from now on. That should be great. Can we just one, too? 
Kantugan, or the Quantung Army, serves as the prime force in our puppet regime in Manchuria. And it'll stay that way. We simply can't rely on untrained and inexperienced Manchus in China to protect their borders against foreign threats. Simply, it would be better if we have anti tank artillery. Anti tank artillery. Path to Nishi Nihon. The Great Lands of Manchuria were gained in the Mukden incident in 1931. Hides many riches and benefits that consider the good of Japan, but they are, apart from the small exceptions, not yet properly utilized. How much further do we have to wait until we get to War of Tibet? And another further. I want to help these guys out, but nothing we can really do about that right now. Keep making, keep making, making, making. Ooh, give you a spot more rubber for the war machine. Well, for whatever we need for now. How's resistance looking? Resistance is still going up, which sucks. Ah, actually, it's going up around here, but it's actually going down here, which is nice. Compliance is around 41%, 58% in Beijing area. 100% up there, of course. Beijing is looking pretty good. German interest in Scandinavia. Ooh. Of course, we're big and peaceful right now, so which is very nice. Ooh. Yeah, I know this is going to be a problem ish, ish too. You build one there, that'd be great. You build one here, too. That'd also be great. Yeah, all towns keep making at least one railroad or something like that. That's still important to make and get. So, uh, go into that too because you can't. Why not? Siamese economic integration becomes an associate, imperial associate, if they accept. Force it, yes, please. Uh, that would be bad. We can do that one too. Not bad, not bad, not bad. And we'll go to war soon too. That should be great. The zero. Ooh. That'd be very nice. Uh, that's nice, guys. That's nice. Uh, political actions, improve army situation, like I said, we said before. Nothing else there. So, I really don't want to get less heart attack, less piercing, less way less armor, but more soft attack. Uh, it does help armor research speed, but is Yosu Yosuka Yokosuka? It's not bad. Nakajima. Let me go with this one though. You're looking a little not great right there, are you? It's fine. Well, everyone, my apologies, but the game crashed as I was clicking on this guy's portrait and tried to give him a new trait. And, uh, yeah, the game's like, nope. So, the game crashed. Um, oh, who is this? Oh, they did more stability. Subject, oh, my bad. So, I was, oh, we were doing that one, but whatever. Um, South Chair Railway? Mm, sure. South Manchurian Railway, Mount Tetsu, was established in 1906 to operate the railways taken over from the Russians, subsequently. Mount Tetsu was expanded by building new lines for its sovereign for China's own, owned undertakings. After the establishment of the puppet era, or puppet state of Manchukuo was established in 1932, it was also entrusted with the management of Manchukuo National Railway. They will all wait to integrate uh, Manchukuo. We'll see. Here, help out here. Uh, let's see, what else? Um, oh, there goes those guys. Oh, wait, they're not actually going to war yet, have they? That's weird. Oh, the Danish are trying to hold it out. Hello. Oh, we're out of gas, that's true, but whatever. I'm kind of scared to click on any... Upgrade. Oh, I did do forced attack, so that's why they're not doing so well. My bad. It's alright. We've lost only a thousand, but, you know. At this point, I'm not super concerned. Alright, Tibet's gone. That was easy. Uh, how about you guys go here next? Man, well, you know what? We will see what happens in 95 days. We're doing this one, of course. Expand continental parts. That'd be great. Ooh, use foreign workforce. You lose some political power. Give more resource efficiency gain. Uh, more construction speed. That's not bad. Is that really worth doing, though? That's a real question. Of course, we'll do this one as well. Uh, Denver, the Philippines will wait to handle the militarists. Uh, the, uh, the fascist party. Actually, this would probably be good to do. Shin Tai Sei. Empire of Manchukuo gains comp tons of compliance for a whole bunch of different areas. Formation of Nippon Logi Koshi. 
But the German government's a blessing. The German oil giant Lugi AG in Nippon, one of our major petroleum producers, has recently announced a merger of the companies. In order to improve production and bring prosperity to both of our nations, said the spokesperson for the newly formed debt company, we at Nippon Lugi Goshi KK commit uh, to excellence in our field and dedication to the nations. With the merger comes a great number of benefits. It will significantly improve the synthetic oil research and production in our nation at almost no cost to us. It will also improve our bonds with the Germans, not to mention it will greatly help us fueling our war machine. A friendship with the Germans is starting to pay off really well. If more German investments flow into the country, we would soon see Japanese boots marching all across Asia. German investment will fuel the Japanese expansion. Uh, let's see, more political power, stability, synthetic refining, tumor production in South Sakhalin, which is awesome. Same thing in Liao Tong. And yeah, overall, really, really great. Von Falkhausen's mission. An excellent idea. It becomes a general. There's no need for a German general to interfere in our affairs. Well, I mean, we get a general. We get experience. And war sport? Why not? Right now, we're enforcing the Quantum leadership, which is good and all. Um, but we tried this earlier. Uh, apparently, they have to have, you know, at least 25% stability, more war support, stuff like that. Hopefully, this will stay, and then we can do this one, too. Um, so, actually, for this one. So, as long as we get this one done first, we should be all right, man. The game is fairly laggy. We're demobilizing a little bit more, but, you know, that's all right. Um, because we have our soldiers over in Germany, well, I guess part of the, partially Italy as well. Uh, also, France did die. There's a distant soldiers there. Um, Burgundy exists. Uh, the Odenstadt is looking not bad. Huh. Pedantic, dogmatic, and dull. Cool, conscious performance. Confessor of philosophical mysticism. Obsessed with a Herrenvok belief. A belief. This is a big daddy. Wow. Weekly, weekly manpower plus 5%. Or plus 5,000. Holy crap. Inconspicuous and unpopular. Why, we have Philip Pitan here too. French German treaties. Ooh. Occupation costs and war operations. Harsh military restrictions. Not bad. And then clashes in the colonial frontiers, which makes sense. Um, but as you can see at the top of the screen, we can go to war with someone else. Uh, I'm just waiting, biding a little bit of time here. And then go to war in Nepal and maybe have just directly strike into India soon enough. Um, I did send the Marines, like I said. Try to build some more infrastructure here first. Build some more railways. It'll be very nice. So you just build, 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 build. We have only 239 factories right now, which is actually not terrible. But, of course, it could always be better. More fuel would be very nice this time of year. Actually, all the during time of the year. It would be very nice to have tons of fuel. Here in the base of naval bombers, sure. Fix those all up if we possibly can. Uh, I did reload the game just to see if it would be make it better for us to speed up the games a little bit. Oh. Oh, so we have to continually just continue balancing this. Maintain interest neutrality. I mean, I'd like to do this. But what's the point? We're balanced right now. We're doing this one. And you know what? That's actually not bad to keep, I guess. Because I want to keep doing a lot of naval stuff, actually. Moved, moved into China. Oh. Becomes controller of Laos and Tonkin and... Wait, what? Ah, there they go. Wait, we just... Oh, uh... We just move? Is it a civil war? Okay, well... Alright. Alright, guys, have fun. Please don't crash the game if I do this. Okay, ooh, thank God. Because it will crash the game occasionally. You might as well help out as best you can. Did send some naval bombers over here, too. See if we can do anything about that. Um, fighters and these guys here. You guys head over here. There's new bombs over there. It's not bad. Um, you guys actually come down here and do the Adriatic Sea, maybe? It's quite laggy. Oh, my goodness. I got nothing else running in the background, I think, too. Just wait for my an OBS. Is there anything in the water at all? You know what, since we're here. Send, oh, yeah, there is. Send some volunteers, but mostly just air volunteers. Yeah, that's not bad. Can we send you three? Over here. There you go. Much better coverage around here. Actually, if anything, do it in the central Mediterranean. Because they have Malta still. And that'd be a really good bomb loading crap out of. You might be able to find something there, but... Yeah, that might not be too bad. 
I'm sure they're still shipping a lot of things through here. So they shoot through shoot Gibraltar and whatnot. So I'm declare war in France, eh? Just keep going, we'll be doing fine. I'm a bunch of horses. I mean, is it really worth sending a bunch of horses this way? Probably not, but whatever. Ah, there we go. Now we got that. Now we'll moved into China. So what that's like. Of course, you have additional staff, basic one, volunteer only. Um well, I guess we'll have to recall these guys. That's fine for now. Whatever. Can you guys actually move in and do okay here? Maybe this is also not a bad idea to get. Can't force the attack either. What is that? Oh, he's sick. Sports IMRO, whatever. That's fine. We're losing the attack now, but we'll be able to move into here and then do this too. It's fine. War bonds again. We lose some more support. You know what? We could really use it. Look at all the stuff we're trying to build. Build, 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 build. Please, please, please. How did the, the, the guys get here faster than the cavalry? Some things I just will never know. Come on, stop being sick. That's stupid. That's incredibly stupid. Look on you here, nothing bad happens. Give him a little bit of time first. We're gonna force the attack, and they will all die. Would you get back in your there we go, now force the attack. There we go, see? Now they'll die. Can't do anything about this. Needs a hundred to do that, wow. And they're dying. As they all should. Good job, guys. I'll let you guys come back here. Questions, motives of Nepal. Very nice, very nice. I do want to see if we can grab that almost immediately. Cool. Keep building. Dali, so we have an okay base when we attack. We're still building some refiners. Bhutan is gone. Thank you, Bhutan. Right, full clay for us. I suppose at the very least, you know what, actually, you guys are just going to attack in the mountains like this, maybe. Since Mountaineers, but whatever. Yeah, Yugoslavia's almost gone, anyways. Cool. Now, where are our planes? 300. Fighters and close air support. I want you to go right here. 300 naval bombers go right around here. Malaya's close air support, close air support. I want you guys to go right. You go right there, that's fine. Anything else around here? More bombers? That'd be nice. Any fighters? Well, we got one. Mitsu. Oh, this one. Mitsui is about to use development. Let's choose to provide Mitsui Group additional funds for the work. This business activities have recently significantly developed our national synthetic industry. Great. So anybody give them another day before we throw them back into the, wa into the war. And they're one. And... Cool. So wait for them to show up. Move to Indochina. I definitely want to see what happens before we go to war with them. And we'll try strike the Southern Research Series. It's time for us to go to war. Man, having the AI like control stuff, like usually it was pretty. I thought it was pretty fast when we played Germany, but having the AI control Germany must have a lot of stuff for it to figure out. Well, hello. Ah, they do have combos here. Two naval bombers have been shot down. Oh, but that's okay because we did a good convoy. Let me go over here and do this area instead. 
That was some serious lag. Oh, do I still have this? No, I don't. Let's see. The Germans don't really seem like they want to invade Britain, which does kind of suck. But let's see what happens with this. Lan Cheng. Probably is up here. Yeah. Well. <laughs> Take Ampuchia. Hey, nice. Alright. And we get all of it. Wow. That's a big wow for me. And let's try the southern resource area because we can. And we'll go to war with those guys too, probably. Uh, heavy ship hole, that's not bad. Get some better cruisers for now. Yeah. Like carriers, as much as I like that, we're gonna go big boys. I like them big and thick. I'll probably do that off screen though, so we'll see. And then, yeah. Let's start going to war. Um, with this stuff though, after that one, um, we'll probably hit up a couple more. It's gonna be kind of a shorter one, just because we're getting ready to invade and whatnot, so. Special forces capacity would be very nice. Air fleet. Oh, that'd be very good. Carrier overcrowding, minus 15%. Oh, that's very good, too. Strength of the Navy. I'm going to do this with Unified Fighter Development. For too long, we've been plagued by a, several, a separate development of aviation between the Army and the Navy. We must unify those programs to assure both uniformity of armament and better use of our limited resource maneuvers. Or research resources, yeah. Unified stuff. Of course, we'll do this one as well. Um, Bonbathsu Modernization. A modernized tactical bomber force to keep support of military in the battlefield. Bushido would be very nice. Modern artillery, though our soldiers are brave and fierce, so they require superior artillery to aid their advance, submit or expand support companies. Uh, first air fleet. To maximize offensive striking power, we'll combine the largest concentration of aircraft carriers the world has ever seen into one battle group. By developing the doctrines required to enable concentrated offensive operations in this form, our enemies will stand no chance against superiority in naval aviation. Expand the SLNF. A war in the Pacific will involve naval landings to a large degree. Uh, special naval landing services or forces require expansion there to be up to the task. Katami class uh, torpedo cruisers, yes. The Zero. A new design by Mitsubishi may be well proved to be the most capable carrier-based fighter de aircraft designed to date. On parallel maneuverability, a couple of decent range means that the design will likely last us for years. We should begin prototyping production immediately in long lance torpedoes. The cruelty is a global resource distribution have left, many, left our Navy outnumbered by the enemy. We will therefore develop the world's most advanced torpedo, yet a very long range and proper weapon propelled by compressed oxygen rather than compressed air that can allow our smaller surface ships to strike well above their weight. But if you enjoyed the video, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow when we will, of course, be at war with uh, the Allies and maybe even the Commenter. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.